Today we're at Globe Life Field, home of the Texas Rangers. They were supposed to be hosting the Yankees this weekend, but the lockout changed some things. Today, the third and deciding game of a three-game Big 12 series between the eighth-ranked Texas Longhorns and the Oklahoma Sooners. And Texas needs him in those spots. He struck out twice late in the game, and if bats it could have given Texas a lead. We're underway as Chaz Martinez, sophomore left-hander, in the 0-2. Struck him out. Good start for Chaz Martinez. Here's the payoff for Martinez. Swung on and missed. Struck him out. Back-to-back -back K's for Martinez. Down and in. He walked him. So Melendez finds his way on via the free pass. That's the only way he's been on this weekend. Daily. Native of Carlsbad, California. Inside out. Swing. Oh, what a catch. Diego Muniz robbing Staley of a hit. And that'll end the inning. They know this park well. That rides in and it hit him. So Graham is hit by a pick. The 0 1. Here goes the run. The throw from Ardoin. Not in time. Stolen base for Peyton Graham. May <laughs> speed it up a little bit, but. This one is lofted into short left field. Faltini going back. Campbell can't get to it. That's going to drop in for a base hit. And so now runners at the corners for Oklahoma here in the first with one out. He will bunt it. And not a bad one. One is going to score. As Oklahoma jumps in front, Diego Muniz getting it done with the bat. As Graham scores, 1-0 Sooners. And the Sooner captain hits it fairly deep to center field going back as Hogo, and he'll track it down to end the inning. Seems like they're just a tick late. On. Outside, walked him. Midweek game. Started the year as the everyday right fielder. How about that? Inning ending double play. Right into the glove of Robertson, who was about a step off the bag. We've already played three series. This one's hit sharply down the line past Melendez at first. Cade Horton is going to have extra bases. He's not stopping. He's going to cruise right on into third without a throw. A one-out triple for Cade Horton. The Oklahoma DH triple. And now Sebastian Ordunia lays it down. They've got the runner hung up. Horton in trouble. And he's going to be tagged out. Now there's a base running mistake for the Sooners. Two down now as Orduño trying to sacrifice. Brings him the one two pitch. And that is called strike three. So Oklahoma gets a runner to third with one out, but they can't score anybody. I think it's good for our game. And that's called strike three as Mitchell Daly has had a tough. Weekend at the plate. He struck out three times yesterday. Boy, not a competitive at bat for Feltini. Martinez mowing through the third. And they carried that title well into March. As this one is hit back up the middle for Graham. Two two is roped. Into right center field. That's down for a hit in front of Staley. He'll get it back on the infield. But again, Oklahoma has runners at the corners and one out. Not like Texas. That's a buck. Yeah, Melendez was not covering. In fact, he was up on the infield grass ready for a buck. And Gordon throws over there, and that's going to score a run. It's now 2-0 Oklahoma. Let's watch Gordon, the left-hander right there. I mean, he gets in the spot right here. I don't think he looked over and saw where Melendez was. Well, he did, but I guess did, just didn't recognize where it was. Going down. This one is hit well by Jimmy Crooks. Hodo is there. He'll make the catch to end the inning. But Oklahoma. Boy, that is a perfectly placed pitch by Chaz Martinez. Brown first pitch swinging is going to send it into left field past the third baseman messenger. 
after the bullpen come in and get three outs. Walked him on four. Who starts? This one is pushed the other way, and it's going to leak through into left field. Rounding third, coming home, and the throw not in time. As Brown scores, they're going to have the out at third as Horton tried to take an extra base. But OU tacks on another one, and it's 3 nothing. Now back to the top of the order in Treadaway. Bouncing ball over the mound. Valtini, usually sure-handed, struggles with it. He was going to have to hurry to get Treadaway, who moves briskly down the line. The 2-2 two -two to Graham. Hit hard through right field. Base hit. Throw to the plate. Not in time. Peyton Graham having himself a weekend. It's 4-0 Oklahoma. Peyton Graham. And his third run batted into the series, and that rides in on Robertson. He gets hit, and the wheels are falling off for Gordon here in the fourth inning. Offensively, you know, there's plenty of pieces. Good pitch. Yeah. Good pitch. That's a breaking ball from Luke Harrison. And, and we know that he's going to make plays for us, so um, I think uh, it's always nice knowing that he's going to. Oh, that was a nice play. Yeah, you, yeah. Do, do, do not, but I want to point the good stuff out. That one he's not going to be able to get. Charging his Mooney's not going to have a play. And even if he got it in his glove, I don't think he would have got it. This game takes the series 2-1. Hit to center. Long run. Treadaway coming out. Won't get there. That is a true single. No doubt about that one. And the no-hitter is gone. For Go away from that fastball. It is a fastball strike three. Texas gets two on, but Martinez gets out of the inning. Oklahoma State in the midweek with a walk-off walk. Cut off. Mitchell Daly coming up. Not going to get him. But still, a terrific-looking play and a great try for the second baseman. I mean, only game, first game I ever played in the big league park was when I was in the big leagues. Wow. Yep. Not even close. Silas are one. Throwing out a runner for the second time in this series. Leading Texas to a series win. Charging. Orduno makes no, does not make the catch. Reached up for it. Now Hodo's at second base. Ordonio overran that ball. And he reaches again. The second time via the walk. Staley uncorks one to left field. Base hit. Rounding third. Heading home is Hodo. He will score. And Texas is on the board. Murphy Staley. His first hit of the day. Staley not wasting any time. He got two guys on, one out. Looked like he got a slider that was elevated. Messenger. Weak ground ball, and Abram flips to first, pumps his fist as he heads to the dugout. In the middle of it, if Texas is going to go a long way this year, Nixon's going to have to be important out of that bullpen. And at the plate yesterday, the bunt. And in no man's land, great bunt for Clark. That's how you do it. 1-0 from Oliveris, hit high and deep left field. Carrying to the wall. Goodbye home run. Peyton Graham with a three-run shot. That's his sixth of the year. And the Sooners have torn a hole in this game. It's now 7-1. to one. There's some flash in this swing. We talked about it earlier in the game, just 171 pounds. 6'4, 171. Base hit to center for Austin Todd, making his first appearance in the lineup since March the 8th. He's been out here. Wow, that just missed off the plate there. And Daly is aboard. Two on, nobody out. That one is hit well. 
Deep left. Going back is Brown looking up. Goodbye. Home run. Dylan Campbell has done it again. Second home run in the series. This one a three-run shot as Texas is back in the ballgame. Top of the plate, 3 0. Four pitch walk. Here's your 3 0. Now we walked it. Back to back walks. Hit well. Left field. Brown. Look it up. Goodbye. Gone. Three run homer. And Texas has come all the way back. We talked plenty about the turnaround that Murphy Staley's had this year. Three-two count. That's not even close. Walked him. Not a great start for Coy Cobb. Hits sharply to Faltini. The flip to second for one to first double play. Odo's one for three with a double. Hit to left center. It's going to stay in the ballpark. Ooh, they collide. Ball comes out. Muniz saw it come out of his glove. And standing at second base is Douglas Hodo with a gift. That should have been an out. Hit hard. Back up the middle is first hit of the series. Rounding third. Coming home is Hodo. And just like that, Texas has taken the lead. He wasn't going to go the whole weekend without a hit. You give Melendez enough chances, and ultimately he's going to come through. And that error. Line drive, base hit. Melendez will stop at second. Two on, one out. And Art's his ball. Center fielder's got the ability to call anybody off on the field. Oh, that that hit just him. clipped him right there, and it's getting even tougher this inning for the suit. Struck him out. Two down. Again the 0-2. Back up the middle. Into center field, base hit. One run is in. Two runs will score. And it's 10 7 horns. Austin Todd delivers his third hit. What an at bat. But Austin Todd fought off three or four that were exactly still in an 0 2 spot. This time got one he can handle. Fastball on the outer third of the play just laces it right back up the middle. And was on for Dylan Campbell's three run homer. Lines this one into left field. That's going to run all the way to the wall in the corner. That's going to play two more runs. 12 to 7, Texas. Not in time. Robertson threw the ball away thinking that was the end of the inning, but it continues. Campbell is safe. Struck him out. Wow, fourth strikeout of the weekend for Faltini. Robertson. Robertson down the line. And that's a fair ball. Robertson will coast into second base with a stand-up leadoff double is. Coming on, diving is Hodo. It's going to score a run. Wasn't able to get to it. Great effort, though, by Douglas Hodo, the third. Ground ball. Should end it. 
The Texas Longhorns come all the way back from a 7-1 deficit, a couple of three-run homers, and then a big ninth inning, and they win it 12-8 to take game three and the series.